getaway car jack portfolio. I got the gumptions to make your conjunction function. So, honey, get it straight up beyond your way. Hi, YouTubers. It's Kavi Chris coming to you live with another makeup tutorial. Get into it. Get into it. So, if you are new to my page, if you are a new person, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I definitely would appreciate it. And if you like if you like my content, if you like this video, go ahead and turn your notifications on so you can get notified anytime that I put out a new video um, and you can see what I'm up to. Um, it just feels like I've been gone for so, so, so long, guys. But it's only been a month. But I kind of feel bad because I did put a goal on myself to put a video out every week. And so far, I've failed. I've put one out once a month-ish, maybe. So, I mean, I'm going to keep on going and keep on moving and trying to get as many videos out as I can to you guys. Um, with my, you know, and adjust to my schedule, my current schedule and things. But... <sighs> You guys, it's a struggle. I work a full-time job, trying to have a social life, a relationship, and remembering to drink eight glasses of water every day and trying to lose weight. I mean, it just is just all a lot. But I'm going to try harder because this year is all about focus, so I got to focus on achieving my goals, and I... I charge you to do the same with your goals as well anything that you set make sure that you stick to it and even if you don't hit your goals right on the mark you got to continue to strive for those goals and continue to strive continue to, to strive until you achieve them so you know i want to get you guys up to speed a little bit if you have been watching my videos then you probably uh, uh, noticed something different about me I did get a haircut and I mean it just was a decision I made on a whim and I just woke up with money like I'm gonna get my haircut I made a, an appointment when I got to work and I went and got my haircut after work so I literally stuck to my decision and I mean I've been loving it if you guys want to me to do a video about the pros and cons and kind of a review of how I feel and having this short kind of flirty pixie cut um, I will be more than happy to share to you guys and share with you guys and talk about the maintenance and all the upkeep that comes along with it as well as the pros and cons and the things that I love about it so um, feel free to thumbs this video up or put a comment below if you want me to uh, go for it with that video as well and I'll, I'll be sure to get that out to you uh, as soon as I can um, also I have so much exciting content that I can't wait to share with you guys there are so many more videos that I have in store um, just so you guys can get to know who I am as a person because I really haven't done that many talkative videos um, and for you guys to I want to share some of my knowledge about some some different topics one of them being um, a success type of discussion a motivational type of discussion because I always want you guys to get something out of my videos and if I can help the next person you know not make some of the mistakes that I did then I'm all for that I'm all for growth and, and helping each one help the next one up so um, if you're excited about that write me a comment below or like this video um, I definitely do want to hear from you guys and also what I want to tell you guys is that this video as I mentioned in my past videos will feature a song from the album lo-fi flips by Nolan the ninja uh, and if you want to know 
why I'm featuring one of his songs on each one of my videos um, for 12 videos straight, then go watch my last video where I explain all that information to you. And if you're interested in hearing the album, I'll have a link below um, in the description box for you to go and check that out for free. It is a free stream, so you'll get to listen to that to the music for free don't have to spend a dime but if you want to download the the cd there is like a ten dollar fee um but it's good you won't regret it go over and listen to that to that cd girl go listen to it girl and share it with your friends um and you know without further ado i am going to go ahead and get into this makeup tutorial and how i achieved this look using the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette and guys i swear to you guys i was sleeping on this palette you know you all loved it i didn't i've watched probably 30 40 50 a thousand videos using this palette and just hearing you know raving reviews about it and i was sleeping on it but i finally picked it up it looks like this and if you haven't got it you need to go pick it up to the shade diversity and shade range is so wonderful i love all the colors in this palette they're so pigmented you know and they just i'm gonna show you one right there i'm gonna show you another one so you could just see what i'm talking about those shades are just so pigmented and they blend baby like butter i love them so you know you can get into this look and continue watching this video if you want to continue to see how i achieved it and I'll see you at the end of the, vi the video. Bye, girls. Okay, girls, let's get right into it. I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. And I'm going to put this all over my face to get a smooth canvas. Um, and then I'm going to go into my Inspiring LA Girl Brow Palette. And I'm going to go ahead and take the wax in there and spread it all over the hair so I can tame those suckers and get them nice and right where I want them to be. Then I'm going to take the, the medium darkest shade in the palette and I'm going to start sculpting out my brows from the bottom. And then I'm going to do the top as well and then i'm going to go ahead and start filling in all the empty spaces i want to make note that i don't get my eyebrows arched just because they're already thin and i don't want them to get any thinner so i just let them go ahead and do their thing and then when i put on makeup i just go ahead and put my brows on to make sure they look nice and cute and I'm just going to shade them in and I'm going to take a spoolie and um, blend blend that, that out. And then I'm going to take the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer in the color Neutral Beige. And I'm going to go ahead and clean up on aisle six. Yes, ladies, clean up these brows. And I'm just going to take that and do the bottom, clean up the bottom so they get that nice crisp wax look. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my beauty blender and I'm going to go ahead and blend, blend, blend that out and put that all the way, take that all the way down to my lid so I can use that as a uh, base. Next, I'm going to go into the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to take the color Soft Ochre with the brush that came in the palette. And I am going to put that all over my lid to set that concealer. And then I'm going to go in with the color Burnt Orange and use that to warm up my crease. And I like to use this Burnt Orange color as a transition color just because I feel like it, it kind of goes with my skin tone and it kind of warms it up. Um, and it's definitely super easy to blend so just blend 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 to your liking blending is your friend it is it is your friend not your foe so after i do that i'm going to go ahead and go into the color Buon frisco and i'm going to put that all over my lid this is like a soft pinky color and it's weird because this is more of a cool tone and I'm using it with a warm tone. But believe me girls, it's going to come together. It's going to come together. So I'm going to go ahead and pack that all over the lid. Like so. 
next I'm gonna go into the color love letter and I am going to take a Sonia Kashuk fluffy blending brush and I'm going to put that into my crease in the V area and I'm just going to pack that in there until it's nice and saturated and warm pack 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 I actually love this color I typically don't wear pink eyeshadows but this one was just calling me this day and I, I think it looks super nice and cute and I'm just gonna keep blending that out now I'm gonna take the brush that came in the palette and I'm gonna take the fluffy side and I'm going to go ahead and do some more blending um, blending that out into my crease now I'm going to take the uh, LA Girls uh, Pro Conceal in the color Fawn and I am going to go ahead and conceal my problem areas. I have dark under eye areas, on the nose, under the, on top of the lip, on the chin, and I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. And I know this color is kind of darker and sometimes I use it as a concealer but it's super worth it. I like having the yellow undertone so I go ahead and blend that out before I put on my my um, foundation with my beauty blender a damp beauty blender and then I'm going to take my naked skin urban decay uh, weightless ultra definition liquid makeup foundation in the color shade 8.75 and I'm going to take my beauty blender and just uh, dab that on the skin and blend, blend, blend. And the beauty blender is still damp. Damp, using a damp blend, beauty blender is always, always worth it. Don't use a dry beauty blender. Dampen that sucker. Especially if you have dry skin like me. Definitely want to use the damp beauty blender. It just helps it soak into the skin a lot better than a brush would now I'm going to take that same naked concealer and I'm going to use that to do my highlighting and I'm going to take it under the eye and I like to do these little fancy de designs because sometimes I get bored when it takes a long time for me to do my makeup so uh, doing these designs I guess entertains me because I'm childish but I'm going to take that up the bridge of the nose as well. And I'm going to give myself a nice little button at the tip. And on the chin. And I'm going to take that damp beauty blender again and blend it out. I like to start in the uh, center of the face and work my way out. And I also like to use less product on the outside, more on the inside. It just uh, helps with controlling your blending and blend 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 I like to use the pointy side to start blending and then I like to use the butt to blend out a little more and now I'm going to take my LA girl uh, powder setting powder um, and, and I don't know the shade but I'll have it down below but I'm going to use that to start baking that face bake bake and bake I like to shake and bake And I'm going to go into my Too Faced Chocolate pa Palette, and I'm going to use the shade Peanut Butter. That is the one that I like to contour with. I like, uh, yeah. it helps yeah. me not have such a good contour, because I don't really like that. It just gives me a little subtlety, you guys. I'm going to add a little bit of 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 a little I got the gumptions to make your conjunctive function So honey, get it straight on me on your roll-up Let the ski Must not be fast like the rise Let me hit you, hit you My flow is crisp like the fuckers I can't as chicken I move the beat like pottery Lyrics run like blood through the honorary With four hands and arms and a lot of me You know I steal all my dough And watch me drop a flow I want to stuff and make it sound like I was one with glow So come on, baby Put it on the fake and move Let's flip a coin And I win it feels you lose Yeah, 
dry skin and dry lips so I could just give me the moisture that I need so I don't look all dry and nasty. So I'm going to go in with this super pink shade from LA Girl. Um, I kind of rubbed the color off but it's like their lightest kind of bubblegum pink shade and I'm going to go ahead and fill that in to get an I got the gumptions to make your conjunction function. So, honey, get the street and be on your foot. I'm gonna just skate. My stuff's been fast like a rash. My flow was crisp like a rock. 